hi guys welcome back to another video on angular 17 this is the seventh part of this tutorial series in this video i will be talking about pipes all the built-in pipes and also i'll be showing you how we can build our own custom pipe so i have created a new angular 17 project already and if i open up this app folder go to the app component you can see that it contains this variable only and this is the html file it contains nothing so i'm going to run my project to see that there is no error and this project is working fine so let's refresh it should not show anything Thing. yes that is fine so first of all I'm gonna come back to app.component.ts file and I'm going to import few things which are essential in angular 17 in order to use any pre-built things so if you have seen my previous video of tutorial series you know that I have been importing few stuff like um, ngif ng4 ng switch for using it in our project all right so here I'm going to write import and I'm going to write date pipe. I'm going to write lowercase pipe, uppercase pipe. We can have the currency pipe. We can have the percentage pipe. Okay. And once we import this, I'm going to copy all of these and I'm going to paste it over here within imports array. Now, when I'll be using these pipes in my HTML, it will not throw any error. All right. So first of all, you know that this is the variable title equals to four dot pipes. This is by default added in my component and I'm going to come back over here in this HTML file. All right. So here I'm going to show the value of the title and if i go over here you can see that it is showing four dot pipes as it is as over here okay now in order to use the pipe we have to use this character this is called the pipe character and after this we have to use the built-in keywords which are added in angular these were added in previous versions of angular but the way we implement it in this version angular 17 is different and this is what i have shown over here okay so i can write lowercase let's save it and now you can see that all of the characters are being lower cased over here just because of this pipe. We don't need to lower case and call the JavaScript function to this string. In this component, we can use pipes directly manipulate the data or the content in our HTML files. And just like the lower case, we can have the uppercase pipe as well. I'm going to save it. You can see that all the characters are uppercase now. Before moving further, I just want to request you guys to subscribe my channel and like my video. And if you want any development services from me, you can contact me on LinkedIn. I've given the link of my LinkedIn profile in the description of this video. So now I'm going to create another variable. So let's name it today of type number equals to date dot now. Okay so let's come to the html file and here i can use that variable today so let's first create a dev and inside it i'm going to use the p tag and today is today let's see what it prints first of all so let's go over here so you can see that let me zoom in so this is what it prints now i'm going to use different pipes to manipulate the data for this date so this is the today and for date we have a lot of pipes so today pipe and after that i can simply write date for now and here if i refresh let me see let me save it and now you can see that after i write date pipe after today you can see that it is printing april 17 2024 which is the date today now i can actually manipulate this date as well there are a lot of params as well for this so date if i want to pass any param i can use the colon and after that i can write any param so for now i can write full date let's save it and let's go 
now you can see that it has actually printed the day as well along with this april 17 2024 and it has printed the complete word for the month as well okay so now i can combine this particular param along with multiple pipes as well so let's say that today value is being passed to this and it is being converted to date and then full date and now after this is converted into the full date i want to again use another pipe let's say the uppercase now let's save it and now you will see that the updated value is being converted into the uppercase so this way all the compatible pipes can be combined based upon the value we have in this particular variable okay so just like this full date we have a lot of other params as well so let me first add this colon and just like the full date we can have the short date as well and now you can see that it is showing this short date along with that it is showing the time so i'm going to show you all the different formats that it provides so we have the short we have the medium we have the long then we have the full and also we can also pause this kind of format so hours minutes and then the second so let's save it and let's see what it prints and now you can see that this thing i think it has printed because of medium and uh, this is the long and this is the full full is showing everything along with the date as well the time as well and now it is only showing the time out of that date because we have given it this hours colon minutes and then the seconds all right so this was about the date now i'm going to create another variable over here and this is going to be the currency equals to and uh, for now i'm going to give it any number so one dot one two three four okay let's give it the type as well of number and now let's come back to the html file here i'm going to use the pipes for the currency so p interpolation and use this currency first of all and let's see what it prints and now you can see that it has printed the value as it is just to make our visibility proper i'm going to comment the above part let's comment this one as well so this is the currency okay so now i'm going to use the currency pipe straight away okay this is the variable but this is the name of the pipe okay so now you can see that it has actually converted that particular currency in the form of dollars and only keeping the two digits two decimal points after this dot okay so now we can actually convert this currency into the format as we want so let's say that we want to convert it into the euro we can add another column and then we need to write the symbol over here okay so now let's see you can see that it has actually converted this format and added this euro icon over here but after this symbol we can have another formatter and let's say one dot one two four okay so this is the format that before decimal how many digit needs to be visible but after decimal how many minimum and maximum digits needs to be visible and now you can see that it has keep kept the one digit before this dot and it has shown all four letters after this dot now if i try to change this number let's say this here uh, if I refresh you will see that it will only keep four digits after this dot because I have added four over here we can increase this uh, or we can increase the minimum value as well over here all right and now there is another pipe that can be applied to any integer so I'm not going to create any fourth variable i'm going to use the same variable currency for that so let's use that currency 
and the pipe name is percent colon empty string so now you can see that it has converted and removed all the dots within that number and then it has added this percent sign so if i check over here it has only kept first of all it kept only the two digits after the dot then it showed the percent sign after this three numbers okay so now i'm going to show you how we can actually create our own custom pipe if any built-in pipe is not meeting our requirement so let's take a simple example for learning how to create a custom pipe let's say that i have uh, this particular pipe a value so this is the value and after that i'm going to create a pipe let's say append this is the name i've given to this pipe uh, i have yet to create that uh, the just like the percent currency date so after this append i'm going to pass a param with a new string so what it is supposed to do that it needs to take this value and combine it with this value and then show it on the browser so this is everything that this append pipe is going to do which i yet need to create so this is the simplest example i think for you to understand how to create custom pipe okay so for now let's remove it and uh, here in the terminal let's stop the project and uh, we need to create the file for that new pipe just like we create new files for creating a new component we need to create a new pipe file so if you have installed angular cli obviously if you have created a new angular 17 project you must have installed angular cli if not you can verify it by running ng variant and it should show you the 17 over here all right so now in order to create a new pipe i need to use angular cli built-in commands for creating pipe we can use angular cli for creating pipes components services directives and a lot more things so ng and space g for generate and then i'm going to write pipe so it is saying that i need to use angular cli to generate g for generate and i need to create a new pipe and after that i need to create a pipe name but before that i can give the path as well so i can give it the path pipes and after that i can name this pipe append okay so it's going to create a folder pipes and within that it's going to create the pipes files with the name append okay the benefit of creating the pipes like this is that it creates the default file names and the default code uh, which we can modify ourselves we don't need to write pipe from scratch okay so now you can see that it has created these things currently it is returning null it is not doing anything okay so i'm going to remove everything within this transform so what it's going to take it's going to take the value as a param from that pipe wherever we need to use that okay and after that i'm going to use the append text so this value is the previous value and this value is the param value actually so append text this is going to be of type string and this is the return value in the typescript in typescript whenever we define this colon and the type after that is going to be the return value from within this particular function so the return value is going to be this string okay first of all i'm going to check if this value is equals to null then i'm simply going to return the value <coughs> if not then i'm going to concatenate both of these values so value plus append text this is the simplest example so now i think uh, we are good to go from here and this is the name of this pipe we can change the name uh, of this pipe from here okay uh, so let's close it and let's come to this component and here i need to import that append pipe so import append pipe from that same path in which this file exists so append pipe needs to be added in this import array in order to use it okay so now uh, let's say that we have this title let's use this variable again over here 
so let's create p tag and then the title let's run the project as well first of all so it is building and now let's refresh so currently it's showing the title as it is now i'm going to use that pipe using that name so append and after that i need to pass the value so new text so let's save it the value of this title and this new text needs to be concatenated needs to be combined and yes you can see that both of these text are combined and this is how we can create our pipe and we can uh, combine it let's say pipe uppercase all right and now you can see that everything which was returned by this is being used by this uppercase pipe and everything is uppercase so this is how we can create our own custom pipe and we can convert that into uppercase by combining multiple pipes like this there are a couple of more uh, important pipes as well which i will talk about in a next to next video because that requires services concepts and dependency injection concepts to be known to you guys so in the next video i'll talk about dependency injection and the services for now that's pretty much it for this video if you like my video do subscribe my channel and like this video as well